Next up, this is a quick one. Bad news for gold bugs, but central banks dumped gold for the first time since 2010. So what's happened? Well, a few central banks have started selling tons of gold for the first time since 2010. And of course, this is in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. It, it is now 1875 per ounce. Uh, gold prices are down almost 10% since it hit 2075. My man Peter Schiff comes out and he's just like, you got to roll this guy out every time there's some kind of bad news with gold and good news with Bitcoin. But he says, if you measure the size of asset bubbles based on the level of conviction buyers have in their trade, the Bitcoin bubble is the biggest I've seen. You know what? It doesn't matter if Bitcoin goes up to uh, $10 million per Bitcoin. Peter Schiff will come out and go, you know what? It went up too fast. Gold won't do that. Gold's super stable. It's not going to go up, you know, a million percentage points or whatever it is. He just has to say these things. And, and uh, honestly, I don't know why I even talk about him anymore. He's totally irrelevant. I'm going to stop doing this. There, there's no point to talk about him. Anyhow, according to a report from Bloomberg, a few central banks are starting to sell gold in order to offset the disastrous economy driven by central planners and bureaucrats. And this was interesting. The World Gold Council notes that year over year, gold demand has dropped 19%. And I wonder to myself, this is the graphic I'm always talking about, all the world's money. So, you know, gold is 11 trillion, right? So I, I wonder myself, year over year, it's been decreasing the amount or the... Um, demand for gold and i think to myself how much has i wonder how much bitcoin has actually dug into the market cap of gold because i mean think about microstrategy uh, they were concerned about all the money that was on fire and they're like hey we're on a melting ice cube so they so if there was no bitcoin what would they have gone to if they would have lost, they're like well you know the safest other asset store of value would probably be gold so they would probably buy into gold square the same thing all the different companies that did it, same type of thing i mean just check these out uh, all these companies would have probably gone to gold. And how much do they have in total? So you're looking at around 10 billion. So 10 billion just going to gold or something else. I, I don't know what it is. But, and this is the ones that we know about. Who knows who's really trading OTC and really just slowly accumulating and not saying anything. So I want the price to go up because they want to mass accumulate. That's the interesting question. So I think in the grand scheme of things, this is just bad news for gold bugs in general. Now, again, gold, silver, Bitcoin is a pretty good play. I just don't see the massive upside potential of gold versus Bitcoin. Bitcoin has a much massive more uh, potential. I'm, I do not think that gold's going to go from 2000 and then 10x to 20,000. However, for Bitcoin to go to 13,000 to 130,000, yeah, I can see that happening. That's 10x. Anyhow, moving down. So it just talks about how uh, Russia sold their gold reserves for the first time in 13 years. Other countries include Turkey and Uzbekistan. They've also sold uh, a ton of gold. And then uh, this is in, this was one of the things that concerned me. It says, in fact, last year, central banks worldwide purchased the most tonnage of gold in more than 50 years. So maybe that's the whole I mean, that's obviously the whole reason why gold went up is because the central banks go, you know what, we need that because of these economic crises that we know was going to happen. So that number, just like the stock market, was artificially inflated by the central banks who bought up stocks, options, gold, debt, I mean, everything. And that's why I always talk about after this presidential election, doesn't matter who gets uh, elected, the stock market will crash. I don't know if it's gonna be a big dip or a little dip, but uh, it's not gonna look good. That's all I can tell you. And it states a few gold investors stressed they were terrified that central banks might dump bullion during the economic crisis. So you better believe it. It's gonna, definitely gonna happen. And I don't know how far gold's gonna fall. But uh, again, still not, bad, not a bad store of value. And Louis Street, the lead analyst at the WGC, explained virtually all the selling is from banks who buy from domestic sources, taking advantage of the high gold price at a time when they are fiscally stretched. And the report by WGC dubbed gold demands trends for Q3 states at year to date, demand is 10% below the same period of 2019, 10% in one year. The total supply of gold fell 3% year over year in Q3 to 1223. It's, it's a, just a weird comment. Uh, the total supply of gold fell. I'm guessing that is just either hoarded up or lost or something where you could not get this gold, but it already fell. So you think that if the total supply of gold fell, well, if you have less supply and there's a uh, you know, more demand. Of course, your price goes up. Unfortunately, demand is down 10%. So that's the problem. And again, I'm to me, the big question is how much has Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, digital assets really eaten into the market cap of gold? I, I think it's more than what we believe it is, uh, but only time will tell when people start to come out and go, yep, well, we're going for Bitcoin. Anyhow, let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's go to our last article.